y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you all with another foundation review a few days ago um i put up a poll to ask what foundation that you wanted to see next and you guys voted 50 percent for the burberry and then 50 percent for both foundations which i was asking did you want to see between the burberry or the chanel so i'm just going to do both but let's just get right into it um the foundation that i'm reviewing is called the burberry matte glow foundation i'm going to read a little bit to you all about it um the found a matte glow foundation the new generation of foundation that perfects the complexion with a luminous matte finish all day its innovative second skin formula blends seamlessly onto the skin for even complexion delivering an undetectable high coverage for a flawless yet natural result and rinsed with life proof technology matte glow foundation is heat humidity pollution resistant available in 30 shades to cover all skin tones okay so i got when you look on the website they break it down like kind of easy for you to pick out your shade it goes from i think it's light fair medium and deep dark and it'll show you what shade you possibly might be and it also will show you what shade you might be in the powder foundation because they do have a powder version to the foundation i'm going to show you all but i didn't get that because i just was like I don't want to spend sixty dollars for a powder and i'm not sure if i'm going to like the liquid or i might not even like the powder and i didn't want to spend 120 dollars for two products that i was not absolutely sure i was going to like but let me show you what it all looks like it came in the burberry packaging like this really to me this is just a, a regular brown paper bag with burberry on the back of it and it had the stamp thing on it and it came of course with the receipt and everything in the burberry envelope this is what it looks like. It, I got the shade Dark Neutral. Um, I was real confused at which shade to get, which I'm always confused with what shades because this shade is 120. And if you go looking on Burberry or like um, Nordstrom's, you will see there's three 120. So there's like 120 Dark Cool, 120 Dark Neutral, and 120 Dark Warm. So I decided to stay in between which the... Um, dark neutral because i always go for foundations with a neutral undertone so that's why i pick this one and they do have a glow version of this but of course i was not getting a glow version i'm real nervous to try this out because this is a glow and matte foundation and i don't like the word glow in my foundations i'm oily i'm going to glow regardless but anyway let's just get right to it oh and out of all out of the 30 shades i believe they're like 11 deep shades so that's kind of it could be better but you know i mean you just got to expect that sometimes with certain brands even though they should do better but it does not surprise me but like i said it is 11 shades for deep out of the 30 shades but let's just get right into it y'all this is what my face looked like um to me this wasn't really a full it's not really a full coverage foundation um i think i should have picked dark warm i don't really like the shade i don't know how it looks on camera because sometimes i'll be saying something might be too light or too dark and then when i see it on camera it's like a perfect match but i don't really like how the shade look i think it's a little bit too light it's not bad i, I think it's a little too light from what i'm seeing looking at myself on the camera now how it looks when you're watching it i don't know but um, it is 12, 11 in the afternoon. I'm going to wear this for a few hours and then I will come back and let you all know like what I think 
if I like it. Do I recommend it? But like, I like the finish of it so far. I like it is matte. I don't really see that glow aspect of it yet, which I'm not looking forward to seeing the glow because I don't like to glow. But I do like it. It feels like I have nothing on my face. It's very, very lightweight. Like, I literally feel like I have nothing on my face. And that's always a good thing. And I noticed that it did say this foundation was heat resistant, uh, pollution resistant or whatever. And I think today in Jersey, it's like 80 something degrees. So I'm going to put it to the test out in the heat today. So I'll see y'all in a few hours. To show y'all right quick what my face look like. It is 419. I did not block my face at all today. Now, I don't know if it's the foundation itself or it's the setting spray I use, but I did not have to block my face at all. And I've had this on for four hours. So I think my face looks pretty good. Hey y'all, I'm back. It is now 7.15. I've had the foundation on for seven hours. Um, I like this foundation a lot. This has to be, I'm about to make a real big claim, one of the best foundations I feel like I've tried this year. Like this is up there with the Time Forward Pore Perfecting and even like the Chanel Ultra Latente because I've been using that one a lot lately. This is not a new foundation, meaning that it did not come out this year. This came out, I believe, somewhere between like um, 2018, 2019. I'm not sure. When I was like looking for reviews on YouTube, I did not see many reviews from women of color. So that's another reason why I wanted to do a review of it because I always feel like if I'm looking for something or a review of a certain product on YouTube and I can't find it, then I always end up doing my own because, of course, I feel like if I'm looking for it, I know someone else got to be looking for it, too. And like I said, it was not that many reviews. It were only two from uh, women of color. And one was, like, from four years ago. And the other one, I can't even, I can't remember. But I really like this a lot. Um, the price is $60. I believe it's, like, $60, $61 because I don't think I mentioned that earlier. It is in 31 shade, 30 shades, 11 of them are deep. This is a glow matte to me. This is, no, it's no glow in it at all. This is a straight up matte foundation. Like this is a very, a real matte foundation. Now it's not like so matte that your face feel tight or your face feel heavy. It's still, it's lightweight. Like this is very lightweight. I feel like I don't have anything on my face. When I went out earlier and put sunglasses on, it did not break up around my nose. This is a damn good foundation. And for $60, it it performed like a $60 foundation. I highly, highly recommend this foundation. If you like the time for it, Pore Perfecting, I think, not I think, I know you're gonna love this. Now, if you are a, more, a person with more of a drier skin tone, they do have like a more like luminous version of this if you wanna try it out. But if you are oily like myself, this is, a good foundation now i did insert a video um when i had this on around when it was like around four o'clock and my face looked good and usually i get oily sometimes around the two hour my, uh, mark or sometimes even around the hour but within the first four hours i was not oily i did not have to blot my face i did not have to start blotting until like six o'clock and to me the average person keeps foundation on their face between I say six to eight hours. Nobody wears foundation for 24 hours. Well, if you, well, I hope nobody don't, but this is a real good foundation. I highly, highly recommend it. On a scale of one to 10, I give this foundation, I give it a 10. That's how good it is. Like, cool. if you like matte foundation, if you like luxury foundation, like this is one that you gotta add to your collection. Now, if you don't really care for a luxury foundation, I still feel like you need this. Like, that's how good it is. This is, this is that foundation. Wait, I'm going to go, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.